Okay, someone's firing at me. Uh, but I can't really see him, so... It's a bit awkward. I'm moving up around. Uh... Can I get away with a nade here? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah! What? <laughs> what? No! Fuck. That wasn't no! me! <laughs> that wasn't me, was it? Yes! Fuck! God damn it, Lou! Hey, they just add Bad Company 2 to they backwards did. compatibility, so that I, is awesome news. I, be, I don't have an Xbox One, so I don't care, but it's a damn good game. I'd be interested to see how Battlefield 3 runs, uh, because, going on a tangent, the uh, the main issue that game had on Xbox 360 and PS3 was texture pop-up. Oh, yeah. And, well, with any luck, that would be eliminated on Xbox One. I mean, have you seen Rage on Xbox One compared to 360? I have not, but I remember that was a really big thing, even on PCs. It took them all to fix it. I think actually the mod community fixed it. Well, it runs really smooth on Xbox One. Okay, that's good. That was a kind of a fun game. That was a weird one. I don't know if I liked it or not. Oh, God. Uh, I enjoyed what it were. I think uh, it was one of those games that was like, oh, is it over? Yeah, I'd say that. Shouldn't be over yet. I remember I got to the last city and was like, okay, there's probably more stuff that happened, and they were just like, okay, that's it, GG. It does feel like two games Roll credits. together. Like that was, yeah. Oh, flush me. Uh, very yeah. odd ball rage because like it feels like they did mash two games together and sort of rushed towards a deadline, if you will. Was that a development hell game? I think, I it, think was. it were. Yeah. And that's a shame, but part of me wonders how much of that is Carmack, and part of me wonders how much of that is um, the actual development studio. Because if you yeah. if you see how quickly they they got uh, Doom Four out, if you want to even call it Doom Four, and that game Doom. Was in, well yeah, and that game was in development. Yeah. Doom Four got cancelled. So yeah. it's a weird one. That game's fucking awesome. Keep in mind that the game was originally running on Carmack's tech. Ah, fuck me. Seriously? Sit here, you got me. Yeah. There you like, go, that I was my game. I, I wouldn't be surprised, that was my game of the year. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, its current version of the uh, the engine they use... Is it Tech 7 now? I don't know. Uh, is quite a bit different to what Carmack had in mind with it. Yeah. My like, virtual texturing still is a fucking awful idea. Uh, and, he's trying something new. Yeah, but it, he's trying something new right. on hardware that can't physically tap that kind of potential. And yeah, then you're trying to ask, true. like, you're trying to ask consoles to do it. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. The mistake was focusing so heavily on the consoles in the first place. I mean, lead platform should have been compute and then get it ported to compute uh, consoles after the fact. Well, I imagine part of, well, at the time, this was just like at the end of our really shitty PC era, you know what I mean? Like, Well, when it was, uh, like, It was kind of turning around a little bit for the PC. When it was originally in development, it was, Come on. PC oh, gaming oh, was definitely in a rut. Up. I'll give you that. Oh, God. But this, yeah, is, yeah. this is its software we're talking about, like, whether or not it was in a rut. That game would have sold irrespective because it's its software. Like Doom 3 yeah. sold really well for what it were. And you know, that lead the lead platform on that one was PC. It, it performed yeah. best on PC. And yeah, it got an Xbox port and the Xbox port did pretty well, but the PC version was the main version. Oh man, that guy's burning alive. Oh That's boy, that sucks. He, he, he burned almost as quickly as Anakin did in episode 3. Almost. That's how bad it were. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I've, I've said my piece about Carmack. I, I, I get the man's importance, but at the end of the day, is the designer or the guy who makes the tech more important? Yeah, it depends and, on what they do with 
I guess. And, and, and the lack of a, a the lack of a <sighs> the lack of a John Romero is definitely an issue in that yeah. studio. Yeah. How are they here so fucking quickly? Well, I think we've just triggered the scripted event. Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll be interested to see what John Co uh, John Romero's games like when it comes out. Which game is he doing? I think he's working on something with Tom Hall. Uh, he did a Kickstarter for a new shooter. Now, okay. okay, if it was just John Romero, I'd probably not back it, because Daikatana. <laughs> but, oh, fucking hell, I forgot about that trash heap. But Tom Hall is actually uh, a decent game designer, so... What did he do? Uh, Tom Hall. He yeah. helped out... Recently. Recently. Recently, how about that? Uh, not recently, I mean... The games he he was solely in charge of have all been good. So Anachronics in good. particular, which was one of um, Iron Storm's games, that's pretty good. They're up top. Because you know how Iron Storm was formed, right? Nope. Okay. They're basically Let's... a studio formed out the remnants of id Software or Joe Romero's id Software and um, okay. Looking Glass Studio. Okay. Well, not really Looking Glass Studio actually. Origin, excuse me. Looking Glass, so I, I guess came. No, no, they were completely separate. I'm talking shit. I'm just talking shit. Ignore me. They're meant to be uh, remnants of Origin and its software. So you got guys like Warren Spector who used to work with Origin on stuff like System Shock, I guess. Uh huh. And then you've got uh, obviously Joe Romero who would have worked on Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein. Sure, sure. Great. At least that's my understanding of it. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, that game will probably be turd, but it'll be interesting to yeah. see how it pans out. Yeah, uh, you know, it can't be worse than any other turds that have come out this year. It can't be worse than Daikatana. <laughs> that's fucking true. No, it can't be worse than Mighty Number no. Nine. That's that's the new low bar. Yep, yep. I was gonna say Mighty Number no. Nine, but I was thinking, nope, it's too easy. Well, my, I mean, Daikatana, like. Isn't actually a terrible game. It's just a very disappointing game. Mighty Number no. Nine is actually a terrible game. Yeah, there's some weird fucking choices in that game, like that whole combo system thing he did. Just like, well, it doesn't uh, really help that the game was developed on an engine that was being discontinued. Yeah, I mean, it almost sounds like the predicament Jute Nukem Forever ran into. Yeah. And again, I wouldn't say Duke Nukem Forever is a terrible game, I'd just say it's a disappointing game. Mm. I didn't think that was... Uh, I, uh, I put it as a it was, it was good. Is... It was going to be a disappointing game no matter what. But I wouldn't oh, call yeah, it a I terrible game. Well I mean, there's a lot of stuff in that, in Duke Nukem Forever that works pretty well. Like, as the shooter goes. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. You want to try and do the uh, room again? Hopefully, I won't crash this time. Yeah, that'd be nice. Everyone in place. I'm gonna stand way over here. That way, the uh, grenade doesn't cause me to crash. It's close by. They want to do something. All this waiting around. Someone's going to do something stupid. I'm not gonna get it this time. I can see it already. All right. Well, if you miss it, I'll shoddy shoddy. Oh shit! Nope. I think I got him. They're not shouting. Oh, no, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. There you go. You got him, Lou. Did I? I could have swore I heard a shotgun or two. That was me. Oh, okay. Never mind. No, oh, well, they know we're here. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably say Doom was the. Maybe the best game, if not the best shooter of last year. Oh, best AAA game at least. Although I do I think it devolves into a collectathon, which I'm not a super. No, it doesn't. What are you talking? Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Not does. that bad. Nah, I didn't feel like that. I didn't feel like I was collecting. Cause I was having so much fun just running around and shooting things that I didn't care. It it does it does the shooting right. Like the guns feel as they should. I don't want to say visceral, but. That's probably a very apt word in this case. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it absolutely is. The 
it, there's just like there's some really cool stuff. Like, the, I mean, the glory kills are fun, and they're not needless. Well, they, they are needless. needless. They just look fucking. They're cool. needless. They look cool, and then you know, like the chainsaw. That's fucking needless as hell. But that's so much fun, and it has a purpose. Like, you get a shit ton of ammo. Although I do so, get the impression Doom, or rather this new Doom, feels more like a 3D Realms game, or a 3D Realms shooter than a id shooter, which is a bit yeah. weird to think. Like, it has more in common with Duke Nukem as to how it plays than necessarily Doom itself. Yeah, I'd say that's probably true. Um... Which is, yeah, weird. I mean, it still has that 90s shooter thing going on with the platform, and, and I, I don't really say puzzle solving but secrets you know, no you know, there's no secrets. fucking puzzles yeah. no puzzles at all but there are good secrets yeah and uh, that that I think is probably why a lot of people do like it especially with the health bars and armor gauges and stuff like that the only non 90s shooter element in there is probably the leveling up system for your armor and all your gear yeah I like that too because um, it just like you know it added just one more thing you can do once you beat the game I finished the game a couple times I um, think it gives it replayability value, then. Yeah, I'd say it does. Because, you know, you want to get through it and you want to try and... Oh, shit, I'm going to die. I don't even know where I got shot from, honestly. Yeah, it does, it does leave you with a lot of hope as to what will come and next to the studio. I mean, I wouldn't even be upset if, if they've tried to make a departure from what it is a studio is well known for making. So if they end up doing, like, an RPG or, or something more outrageous, then I'd be cool with it. Yeah, I would be too. I'd be curious to see what they do. Um, but as far as like, like you asked about replayability, um, that one, the death, is that what's called? Death or something like that? The really super hard game mode. Death that Garnet? like, no, that's, that's, that's Wolfenstein, uh, Wolfenstein. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, believe... I think that's it. It's the, if you die once, you lose a level. It's like hardcore, more or less. Is it Inferno on Doom? It might be. I might think of something else. I'm not sure. Also, you blew this truck up, is what it happened didn't last I... time. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need to get in here and interact. Oh, nope, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you had, hell, Lou. You had your Nyko RC remote control just then. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> just playing with your toy, toy RC. In, in the, uh, in the, whatever that truck is, I guess. I think it's meant to be a oh, new Oh, uh, I think we truck. have enemies. We got enemies coming. Okay. But yeah, you, you, had, you had this big fuck-off RC remote control anyway. <laughs> it looked dumb. I stole it from, uh, Watch Dogs. He uses a phone, not an RC remote control. Bollocks. Wait, RC stands yeah, he for does. Control. Does he? He's got, a fucking, what? he's got a fucking quadcopter in the second one. I haven't played the second one. I haven't either, but I know that. I think he had an RC in the uh, first one. Didn't he? What am I, I thinking of? I, I never actually played that far into Watch Dogs, not gonna lie. I didn't either. Oh, there goes the van. Well, we already got the intel, so we're good to go. I need to retreat, because I'm gonna get shut the fuck up here. Um, I'm gonna go. Excuse me while I use technical terms. Flank them. Ha ha ha! Okay. You, you know, I tried playing tactical up. when we first played this, and then I realized oh. it was completely. No, I'm dead. Uh, Do we have spawns, spawns left? A couple, I guess. Cool. Yeah, I remember trying to play this tactically when we first, like. Recorded this series, and you know, I give up on that idea now. Fuck it, let's just. Oh, yeah, the game. no. Well, you know, it... fucking hell, I'm gonna die. The best thing about playing this game tactically is the uh, lip syncing you get when you talk in the mic. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Mm. That's been a thing since, like, what, Rainbow Six Free? Yeah, yeah, Rainbow Six Free had that. Not a tech you see anymore, though. It really makes me oh, sad. It was kind of dumb. No, come on. I mean, it sounds like the, a kind, the kind of thing that'd be implemented by pooping your toothpaste man who went to E3 one time. 
You remember? I don't know what that do is. Do you know what I'm about? No. The, the, I don't. The mad bastard buddy. who who once did E3 for Ubisoft. The did it do you guy? No, you got me on this one. Do you not? Okay. Um. You send me a link. Jesus, may, there's a lot I, of these I will have to. I will have to. Are we waiting on our helicopter, or are we I, I, be I believe he was called, um, he had a nickname like Mr. Coffee Man at one time, because he, he sounded like he was a bit too hyper about Ubisoft's products. Yeah, that sounds right. And I'm just trying to recall, like, the most infamous moment during that meeting, that, that, that conference, but... I don't know, it's difficult to say. Jesus, Lou. Sorry, man. I don't think I got any respawns either. Oh, so shit. it's all on you, pal. Tom Clancy. Does that Fucking not ring a bell? Scoped him. He's, he Tom Clancy? No, he opens up. He opens up like because he introduces Tom Clancy, Future Soldier, as Tom Clancy. No, it doesn't. That's oh. a fucking sniper. No frame of reference here. I feel alone. You can find a video. Send oh, it to I, me. I suppose I could put. Uh, You're like... fucking dead. You might as well. Oh, I, I, I don't actually have overlay working <gasps> on maybe cell phones. Oh. oh my god! Is that our escape? It's here. It's here. <laughs> Happy I'm times. Coming. Happy times are here again. Please don't spot any more enemies. You know what? There's gonna be that one asshole right at the very right? end who's gonna be shooting you. With a fucking shotgun, and while he's raging at it, he'll bull. switch to a raging bull and just <laughs> fuck your game up royally. Ha! Ah, take that, raging bull guy. You know what? I'm gonna have to link that that coffee guy I'm on about. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Did, uh, yes. Did stuff E3. Fucking finally. Hey, it only took us like 500 attempts. Yeah. It only took us 15, almost 16 minutes to finish the level. This victory seems so underwhelming. Oh my god, I'm excited. Well, yeah, because you've had to find it. Well, you finally managed to finish a level that took us, I don't know, several hours at least. Yeah. <laughs> the last video was, what, 20 minutes long, maybe? You know what? With the amount of retries we've had on this one, it probably would set us back a, a good number of parts, I'd say. Yeah. Anyway, on to the next one. Uh, yeah. <sighs> All right, we get to do the whole helicopter ride again. We loved it so hey. much the first time. It's the side to give it for us again. I get to look at your AIDS-riddled face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly not behind you, night vision goggles. You know what? Please. I apologize. I apologize. For that one, I apologize to all the AIDS riddled people who look like that or don't look like that. <laughs> Covering your ass while you're just digging yourself further, mate. <laughs> Question is, how do you get AIDS in your ass? Uh, you know what? Don't answer that. Your ass? <laughs> I know how to get AIDS. In I know exactly how to don't do that. Don't answer that, please. <laughs> just ask those guys from that um, from that galley boxing thing oh, or shit. MMA thing. They'll know exactly how to do it. I have no idea what you're referring to. Oh, okay. I'm going down the rope again, you can take the door if you'd that like. That sounds like some next level Dana White shit, though. Boom! Boom. You know what, I, I can't actually go with a day without running into a, a UFC is in trouble headline. I don't... I don't know anything about UFC, so... Well, when you watch wrestling, uh, it's difficult not to run into it. You watch American wrestling? Is there is there British wrestling? Yeah, there is. Is it any good? Um, it's okay. Are you better off just to watch American wrestling? Well, NXT is actually good, uh, but that's probably the only like mainstream American wrestling show I like. Uh, okay. And one of those. I don't know anything about. I don't know anything about it, obviously. So, I mean, if if you had to pick between what like shows run, I mean, a lot of people tell you Ring of Honor's good or uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. I hear uh -huh. uh, I hear on the East Coast Chikara's pretty good. 
Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't really do much in the way of independence, so I can't really tell you. Don't have the time for it. Oh boy, there's a grenade over there. Get out of there. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Yep. I uh, took that as you were running over there. My bad. But, but yeah, there is there is a a British wrestling program. Uh, okay. Called World of Sport, and that's only just recently started showing. Which is why I say it's all right, because I don't really have much like frame of reference on that one. Yeah, yeah. There's only like a couple shows of it. So it recently relaunched. I can't do anything down there with my shotgun. You're gonna have to do the killing on that one. Is there another way down there? Uh, we could repel down, I guess. No, I don't think there's any more repelling to be done. No, there's not. I don't remember going down the stairs. Alright, I'm rushing the stairs. Don't mind me. Made it. We'll get over it. So, guys, are you hearing somebody say he's cold, Cabron? Ah, no. I'm pretty used to him saying retarded shit. Fuck you, that was my friend! Yeah. <laughs> he owed me money! <laughs> no, there it is! Breath, I spit at thee. <laughs> Those guys were all on the stairs last time, and I checked a grenade and killed all of them, so. Uh, where did those other guys come from? Did they come from the bathroom? Oh, they did! It's a bit dark in there. I was just joking around. Is that a bathroom? It don't look like a bathroom. Where I just went into was. Oh, okay. We may have an issue, though. Can I close doors? No, not apparently. Apparently this is a terrace. The terrorists are in the terrace. It's a bit confusing. Mm. A little bit. It's a bit dark here too. It's a bit dark because I just got shot in the face for me, I don't know about you. How'd you uh, use Night Vision again? Uh, X. I can't see shit with night vision. What an cool. irony. Cool. Wait, you mean, is it dark right now? Uh, it actually ends up being dark with night vision. Right now, and, though. And for whatever reason, it zooms in a little. It magnifies. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Huh. I usually just use thermal. I'll cover you. Bitch, please. I'll cover you. Cover who? He's dead. His dead Not friend? Too. Is that who he's covering? Yep. Didn't cover him very well, though. No. He's still regretting not. it. Got him! I hear him gasping with his lungs full of blood. Oh, seriously? That was really quick. Careful. It's alright, just burning someone alive. Yeah, I hear that. Jeez. Yes. Aha. All right, I should probably go back in here. Oh fuck's sake! Flashbang again. I'm... I got it. No, I don't. Here, remember, not extraction, helicopter. Wow, we're completely surrounded. Time. Careful, there's guys coming in behind you, too. Oh, I'm nearly empty. Let's 
cool. I glocked him. Nice. Oh, G36. Don't mind if I do. I think they're using shock, uh, well, that's shotgun I'm using because I'm getting a lot of ammo. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, this is my kind of party. Here we go. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Okay. It's wow, that really me. was the extraction helicopter. It's fine by me. Yeah. Hey, we got the same amount of kills. Alright, let's not get completely wrecked by the same guy again. Hmm. Oh, we gotta do that whole other area too. Damn. Jesus, guys. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> the <laughs> chorus of people. <laughs> How these scream in unison. Nope. Big close point for them. Sorry. Almost killed you then. Hey. You're good. There's just that one guy. You can get him through the glass. Never mind, I got him. Alright, room's clear. Not quite like the last time where they were screaming for five minutes straight. <laughs> that was really funny though. This is a weird building. Who laid this building out? This doesn't make any sense at all. Why is there this huge wall here that could very easily connect to this other huge hallway? It, it's called making a video game. Jesus Christ! See, the, like, the, the architect of this building is like, well, you know, if, if some, if 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 by very unlikely circumstances, we get a terrorist attack, and we need to get someone to traverse this building. I've put these walls here just in case he needs to make use of them. That was like uh, the first time I played Mass Effect. You know, like you go to the Citadel. Well, we put these lifts and, uh, here, not for any decent purpose, but I realized that we need to stretch the game out, so these lifts... Oh, that was <laughs> that was all for loading times on that one. I know. But like but there was like chest high walls in like the main area where <laughs> you like meet when you meet the council. I was like, there's gonna be a firefight in here at some point. Were they actually I can't recall. Yeah, at the end of the game you fight Saren there. Oh yeah, the very end. I don't remember. It's like Where everyone chose to kill the council because they're a bunch of pricks. Yeah, that's what I did. I yeah, saved him I once. I was like, you know what, they're kind of ungrateful about that. Fuck them. They're like, we can't really help you. Well, in the second game, they'll make you a Spectre again if you want. Yeah, they will anyway. Whether you, you kill the council or have them remain. Yeah. It's just like, oh, well, hey, I mean, so you're, you're still alive, Shepard, so I'll uh, give you council status again, why not? Yeah. Whoa, dicks. You know how we were saying the last time we played this map, there's no stairs? Well, it turns out there is stairs upstairs. Yeah, I'm seeing that. That just made that a lot easier. Oh, and I died oh. again. Well, that was cool. Cool why it lasted. But hey, there's stairs. But yeah, there's stairs. So you're going back up there? Yeah. I'll move along the bottom. Oh, jeez. Oh, down, uh, if you look down, uh, uh, that red car on your left, down in the lower area, there's some guys over by it. This casino looks awfully underwhelming. Ever been a casino before, though? I suppose, once or twice. Like a real casino, or like 
one filled with old people, and you're like, this is depressing as hell. Well, I mean, Casino Zero, a weird one. Isn't there like a place that's trying to be Vegas-y over there somewhere? Blackpool? I don't fucking know. Sure, why not? That's all I can think of. I remember so. I've heard that about a lot of places. I mean. Yeah. Like Dubai's probably trying to vie for that status at the moment. Did you get that guy? Yeah. Because, I mean, it's the only other place in the world where they'd be dumb enough to think it's a good idea to build this city in the fucking desert. I've played Spec Ops Line, I know how that ends. <laughs> The only difference oh, there's a guy behind me, guy behind me, guy behind me. The only difference is Dubai has a fuck ton of oil, so it's cool. Yeah, they can bring in water, no problem whatsoever. You know what? That's my game of the year every year, Spec Ops The Line. I mean, it was a good game at the time. I mean, I still enjoy it. I do like, too. I think it's good. Everyone goes on about how generic the actual shooting is of it, but it works pretty well. Well, that was the like, point. It, it is a tightly put together shooter. I think it's just the it's... case that it looked like to, it looked very dubrowy and it ended up being a bait and switch. Oh yeah. I mean, I that's, the zero probably why, that's probably the Z why. That's probably why. Zero punctuation review was, was pretty good because he's just like, I have to now play every shooter in the off chance that it is actually something like this again. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen again, though. I mean, it, I don't either. I get the it impression. It was a game. Sorry. I'm surprised that game ever came out, honestly, because it was in. It was another one that had a lot of trouble getting out. Yeah, I, I get the impression. It, it's a bit of a fluke for that studio. And uh, I do wonder what Dead Island 2 would have been if it was made by Jaeger. I, I imagine it would have been a quite competently made shooter. But at the same time, it, like, that's probably all you would have been able to say about it. Yeah. You're gonna go ahead and come downstairs. But, I mean, it seems so weird that they would scrap a game like that. It seemed... I don't know. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Like, I mean, even oh, if shit. it didn't pan out as a Dead Island game, they could have done something with it. Oh, I thought that was... They were all dead. Found the bomb! But it just... Yeah, that's it. But it just seems so weird that Dying Light came out and actually got critically lauded by most people. Uh, and Dead that Island 2 good. had more hype going for it. Cancelled. And Lord only knows what the fuck the IP is going to end up turning out like now. I've died again. A clicker game. Well, I mean, called, uh, Dead Island called Dead, isn't exactly Dead a great Island. game. No, it's not a good game at all. Some might be brazen enough to call it a bad game. Me, for instance. I, I think it's pretty generic, myself. Like, there's stuff I like about Dead Island, but at the same time, you've got shooters like Boiling Point, that would do just as much as Dead Island on a fraction of its budget. And then you, then you, then you gotta keep in mind it's basically like Borderlands, but with zombie shit in there instead. The fucker dead? Yes, thank God. Although right, I will, I will give, I will give Dead Island and Borderlands this much credit. It's turned a, I... a Diablo-style RPG. Uh, I'm getting into... my phone out, hang on. What? Okay. It's turned the Diablo style RPG into quite, a, quite an accessible game. Yeah. You actually on your phone? No, no, I was disarming the bomb on my on my phone. <laughs> what? On oh, my oh, you had a bomb, no, you RC, uh... Or my RC, sorry. Oh, your RC, yeah. Now I get yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but to cut a long story short, Dead Island and Borderlands have made RPGs of that kind more accessible. But yeah, that's, that's prob true. Probably the most credit I'll give it, and, you know, there are people who will play Borderlands that would never even fucking touch Diablo. No, definitely not. And then there's games like Spec Ops, or not Spec Ops, uh, but, uh, fucking, what was that one thing called that Ubisoft did? The Division. What's going on here? Ugh. Ugh. I don't like this. 
don't know yeah, what this is at all. Wall. Wait, is this our evac? Yeah, Jeez, this is I it. Thought, I thought it was an attack chopper that we're meant to fight then. Just like... I did too. Game. Yeah. So Jesus, this is going to be a really hard fight. <laughs> That'd be really suck if they did a boss at the end. Well, it's not really uh, a boss on two. <laughs> not really, yeah. Which is successful. Oh, no, not leave session. Let's see, what are we... Three missions up now? Don't know. I'm getting there. I think so. Well, it was mission number three. We're doing... We're on fire. Dante's Casino. Now that sounds like... That sounds like quite a dive right there. I think this is the place where I just stopped. Was this place. I, I like how Nakatomi Plaza is still on fire as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> there was an issue with the... Uh, with the uh, firefighters union and they're on a strike right now and they refuse to put out Nekotomi Plaza 